So since you guys are responsible for knowing um, which major bones are either on the right side or the left side of your body, I'm gonna help you orient yourself to know that if you see this bone disarticulated, you can figure out if this is the right humerus or the left humerus. And just so you can kind of see it in a skeleton and disarticulated, this is the right humerus. So we are still looking at the right humerus anteriorly. And up at the top, this big round region is the head of the humerus. And the head of the humerus is points most medially of the bone. And there's these two rough regions right here. And one is larger and one is smaller. So the larger one is the greater tubercle and the smaller one is gonna be called the lesser tubercle. And now the space in between these two tubercles, it's kind of hard to see the definition of this, but um, the space in between these two tubercles are called, is called the intertubercular groove. Now, if you move down the bone medially, there's a rough region that kind of juts out. And that is known as your deltoid tuberosity. Again, we are looking at the humerus anteriorly. So knowing that the head points medially and the capitulum, this round little structure right here points most laterally, you can orient yourself to figure out that this is the right humerus. With the capitulum posting, um, with the capitula pointing anteriorly and the head medially, as well as the capitulum most lateral is how you can kind of orient yourself. So, once again, this is your capitulum and it's kind of the, this rounded structure right here. This whole little um, structure right here is called your trochlea or your trochlea. And there's kind of two little fossas right here. But we're gonna focus on the one that's most medial right above the trochlea. And this is your coronoid fossa. And now the trochlea and the coronoid fossa are, they both articulate with um, structures of the ulna that have similar names, as well as this structure back here, which is the olecranon fossa. So each of these three structures, the olecranon fossa, the trochlea, and the coronoid, fossa articulate with similarly named structures of the ulna and the ulna kind of grips this structure right here and so if this is your humerus anteriorly and this is your right humerus this structure right here is your medial epicondyle which remember your head of your humerus points medially. So if the head is right on this side, you just follow it down and you know that this is your medial epicondyle. And if this is the medial epicondyle, you flip it over. It's still your medial epicondyle and this is your lateral epicondyle.